Hi, people of AppAdvice. So, um, as we've told you a few minutes ago, Apple just shipped iOS 4.2 Beta 1 for the iPad. So, yeah, it's finally iOS 4 for the iPad. So, there it is. As you can see, it has the same wallpaper that you know from the iPhone. The springboard's fairly the same with the addition of Game Center. I don't know if it's, uh, if it's just a feeling, but it looks like the icons are a bit better. I don't know if they raised the resolution or on these ones, but well, well it's not like it's going to bring your retina display anyway. Then, um, so, of course, the biggest new addition is, uh, is multitasking. So, you have this extended multitasking bar that can hold up to seven applications. And yeah, it jumps from app to app with the same animation that you know on the iPhone. So I open the link here, and yeah, it will take you right to Safari. Of course, the iPad only has 256 megabytes of memory, so it doesn't hold like, it won't hold apps that you opened a while ago. As you can see, yeah, it has to reload. Then, uh, yeah, I was showing you email. It's also bringing the universal inbox. This is very, very nice. It's very convenient if you have multiple inboxes and lots of accounts. Um, there's Game Center. I didn't get around to set it up yet, but it looks like fairly the same thing that you know from, uh, from the iPhone. What else can I show you here? Oh, very nice thing. For example, uh, apps like, or for example, the AppAdvice app, it's already working with the multitasking, so if you have an universal app that has been compiled with fast app switching, I'm not sure about iPad-only apps, uh, I'll have to try, but for example, yeah, you can leave the app, jump into Mail, and come right back to App Advice at the exact same screen we were. So, it's, so that's going to be great for buying apps, for example. You can buy an app and just jump to the App Store and come back right away, so that's great. Uh, what else? Video is the same thing. Let's see if we can see Robin. Yeah. I'm not seeing any special commands for AirPlay. I don't know if they rolled that or rolled this out already. It doesn't look like. Yeah. Of course, you also have uh, note syncing, and you can now change the font in the notes app. You can have chalkboard, Helvetica, or Markerfeld, and uh, and choose which account you want to sync your notes on by default. Um. Yeah, and that's it. That's pretty much all we can do so far. And uh, we're sure they're going to be adding a lot of things in the next betas, and we'll make sure to keep you updated. So thanks for watching, and readapadvice.com.